Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 75 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to move your Lightroom catalog and or the images that you have in Lightroom to a different place on your computer. Now, before we begin, just let me say that these images aren't mine. This is actually my son Joe's Lightroom. He has a lot less images in his Lightroom, so it's a lot faster to move his stuff around than it would be to move mine. Now, let's talk about the Lightroom catalog first. For those of you that don't know, the Lightroom catalog contains all the previews for your images. It also contains any presets that you have. Also, unless you changed it, by default, Lightroom stores any image edits in the catalog. A lot of people believe that Lightroom creates a sidecar file, uh, a lot of people will call it a .xmp file, that will be sitting right next to the actual image file, and that sidecar file contains the edits. Well, that actually isn't true with Lightroom right out of the box. That is a feature that you have to enable, and I'm going to show you how to do that as we go through here. Now, to move the catalog, first you have to know where the catalog is to begin with, and I think the easiest way to do that is if you have a Mac, go up to Lightroom, and down to catalog settings. If you have a PC, that would be under edit. So you'd go to edit and then down to catalog settings. And let's talk about those XMP files first. If we go over to the metadata tab, and you can see that the third checkbox down, it says automatically write changes into XMP. You can see that is not checked. By default, that won't be checked. And you can see there's a warning below that. It says changes made in Lightroom will not automatic, automatically be visible in other applications unless written to an XMP. That's because other applications won't know that it has to read the Lightroom catalog to know what you did to the, what edits you did to the actual image. So if you create a sidecar XMP file, that helps other applications know that that image has been edited and what those edits are. So just simply click that and now Lightroom is actually in the background creating XMP files for everything in the active folder. So as you go through your folders it'll start creating those XMP files and any new imports you do will automatically get XMP files created for them. Now that's kind of a mini tip. We're actually talking how do we move this catalog and I mentioned we have to find out where the catalog is and if we go to the general tab you can see it's showing the location. Just click the Show button, and because I have a Mac, Finder opens up, and there's his Lightroom catalog. It's called Joe's Pictures. If you have a PC, of course, um, Explorer is going to open up. File Explorer will open up, and you'll be able to access that folder. Now, we want to move that folder, so we're going to close Lightroom down. Now, once Lightroom is closed, you can move the folder anywhere you'd like. For the sake of time, I'm just going to move it to the desktop. So we're just going to take this folder and move it there. Now it's there. Now if I open Lightroom, Lightroom's not going to be able to find the catalog and it's going to ask you to search for it. I think an easier, an easier way is to just do this. You've moved the folder that contains the Lightroom catalog. Open the folder and you're going to look for the file that ends in .lrcat. In this case, it's called Joe's Pictures.lrcat. That's just because we named his catalog Joe's Pictures. By default, the Lightroom catalog is named Lightroom. So it probably is named on your computer Lightroom.lrcat. And what you want to do is just double click on that. And when you double click on that, you'll see there it is. It opened up the folder just fine, or the catalog just fine, and we see the images. Now, let's say you want to move images. You have them maybe on your local drive and you want to move them to an uh, external hard drive. It's a little trickier, but still not very difficult to do. We're going to close down Lightroom, and you really have to know where these images are to begin with. Now, I know that we have them on this external hard drive. We call it the Morganti drive, and it's right there, Joe's RAW files. Those are all his image files. Now, for the sake of time, again, I'm just going to move it to the desktop, all right? So we're just going to move it to the desktop, and it is probably pretty large, even though he only has a few. Yeah, it's got 8.75 gigabytes, so I'm going to pause the video, and we'll restart the video once this move is complete.
Okay, the move is complete. You can see there's the raw files folder now on the desktop and it's no longer on the Morganti drive. So we're going to close that down. Now we're going to open up Lightroom. And what you'll find when Lightroom opens, the previews and everything are still there. That's because we moved the catalog and the Lightroom knows where the catalog is and those previews are in the catalog. But You'll notice if we look at the individual images down here in the film strip that each one has an exclamation point next to it or in the top right hand corner. And if we actually look in the left panel when we're in the library module, we'll see that each folder has a question mark. And that means Lightroom can't find the file. If we go over to the develop module, you'll actually get a notice up here. The file could not be found. So Lightroom does not know that we moved these images. So we have to find them. Now, as we look at the uh, file tree over here on the left, we just have a bunch of folders. We don't really have the parent folder, the folder that contains all these folders. So to get that to show, and it's easier to do this if you have that folder showing. So do this first. Just right click on the topmost folder and click on show parent folder. Now you'll see Joe's raw files is the parent folder, remember? There's the parent folder, but it's missing. It's got the question mark. So now we're just going to right click on Joe's raw files and we're going to click on find missing folder. And when you do that, now we know we have it on the desktop, right? It's right there. Joe's raw files. That's all you have to do is click on that parent folder and click choose. And when you do that, it's going to close down here, but once you reopen it, you'll see that all the images are now accounted for. And, um, you know, just if we go to the develop module, you can see that it's saying file not found, but that's wrong. See, if we just click on and off it, there found the file. So we're good to go. We're back to library module. You can see there's no more question marks. Um, everything is as it should be. And all the files are found. So that's it. That is how you would move the catalog and move the images in Lightroom. Now, one little postscript to all this. If you just want to move an image from one folder to another folder, and both folders are in Lightroom, that you don't have to do all this. All you have to do is go down to the film strip, and let's say I want to move this image to a different folder. I could just click on it, drag it to a different folder and it will move it to the other folder. Also, you could move entire folders if you want, as long as everything is showing over here. So if I want to move Buff State Events, that's the college he goes to, Buffalo State College. If I want to move that to this, inside of this folder, I really could just click on it and drag it. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to mess up his folders on them. But that is how you would do it. You could just move stuff inside of these folders from folder to folder by click and drag. But if you're going to move the everything, and this is probably most important if you're moving from your local drive to an external hard drive, that's the way you do it. The way I showed you is you, you go close Lightroom down, move everything, then come back in Lightroom and, and find it the way I showed you. So that's it. Um, one little thing, actually, I wanted to just show you as well. We talked about the XMP sidecar files, you can see there they are. They're created now. There's that raw file, and then he has an XMP sidecar file. Those now contain the edits. Any edits he did on any images that were edited will have those XMP sidecar files because we enabled it by clicking that checkbox in catalog settings. So that's how you create those XMP files. Now, just as a side note also, the edits are also stored in the catalog, so you've got kind of double edits. They're in the catalog, and you created XMP sidecar files as well. So, you know, just so you know how everything works, I thought I'd be thorough. So that's it. That's how you move the catalog. That's how you move images. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon.